uh, we come up with general knowledge and current affairs session uh, which will be important for the upcoming cmat cuet pg exams and all so am i audible meri awaaz aa rahi hai am i audible guys okay so let's start with the first question so i will be giving you questions you have to answer it in the live chat so these are the very recent uh, events that happen let's say in the past one or two months and especially in cmat they ask questions which are uh, mostly the thing that happen in december january february and that is why i'm asking uh, questions from the recent events uh, the first question says who has been elected as the next president of indonesia your options are hamza haz joseph kala prabowo subianto sudhar mono what is the right answer and can you please tell me uh, recent i mean uh, in the past one or two years it has been in the news that uh, indonesia has decided to change its capital from jakarta to which city what is the name of that city please tell me i'm waiting for the answers so here the right answer the who has been elected as the next president of indonesia option c prabowo subianto and he is currently the defense minister of indonesia ana so if you see it carefully ana so is the minister of defense so the right answer is c is the right answer theek okay. hai indonesia's joko widodo he is joko widodo the outgoing president ana and he is honoring the defense minister uh, the next uh, he is being given the four star general because he will be the next actually president of indonesia and uh, actually i hope you are okay the who has been elected as the next president of indonesia so the answer is c and jakarta so indonesia is moving the capital from jakarta to nusantara please remember it this is also very very important okay where exactly it is let me show in the map so this is india uh, this one is actually indonesia ye pura this one ye wala is this one is indonesia okay now so currently the capital is in java island um, you will find it jakarta okay but now they have decided to move it towards here uh, here uh, nusantara island is there nusantara city is there in borneo island okay so this will be the new capital i think most likely from august this year they will start in inaugurate this capital and this is very very important actually uh, the next is which city will host 2024 khelo india university games your options are a assam बिहार पंजाब ओडिशा सो दिस इज द न्यूज फ्रॉम फरवरी है ना खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स सो खेलो इंडिया यूथ गेम्स दीज थिंग्स आर ऑर्गेनाइज बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ अफेयर्स ओके एंड हु इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ अफेयर्स सो द राइट आंसर इज मिस्टर अनुराग ठाकुर फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश ओके एंड द राइट आंसर हेयर इज आसम इन गुवाहाटी ठीक है सो Anna, so Sara Sujai Sports Complex in Guwahati. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay, excitement grips Guwahati as uh, some state capital gears up for for Khelo India University Games. Anna, ask the Lakshmi. So just remember it. Uh, let's move on to the next. The question number three. What is India's rank in Henley Passport Index 2024? Your options are 84, 85, 86, 87. What is the right answer to this question? India's rank in Henle Passport Passport Index 2024. क्या सही जवाब है? Ah, this is also very important. This tells the strength of the passport, है ना? How powerful the passport of your country is, है ना? That's the idea about it. So the right answer is ah uh, B is the right answer. 85 is the right answer to this question. Henle Passport Index 2024. So India has actually earlier it has 84 rank. Now it has gone down one position to 85th rank. Uh, the rank one as it with uh, france so france has got first rank india's rank is 85th okay and that is what uh, you should be knowing about it so you can travel now uh, to 62 countries visa free uh, if you are having an indian passport you can travel and uh, travel 62 countries visa free that is what you should be knowing it so b is the right answer yes 85th is the right answer to this question uh, let's move on to question number 4 what is the name of hindu stone temple inaugurated by prime minister modi in abu dhabi uh, i think this uh, was there in 14th february it was in the news your options are swami narayan temple baps mandir uh, shiva temple krishna mandir what is the right answer to this question abu dhabi you will find it in uae united arab emirates capital is abu dhabi 
So the right answer is option B, B, A, P, S, Mandir. B is the right answer to this question in Abu Dhabi. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, it is India, this is UAE. And here you will find Abu Dhabi, the capital of United Arab Emirates. Okay, and here a BAPS temple has been inaugurated recently by the Prime Minister. Okay, yes, uh, Sonu Mandal, you are right. B is the right answer. Now, the next is question number five, which says, in February 2023, in which of the following cities, Prime Minister Modi laid down the foundation stone of Sri Kalki Dham Temple in Uttar Pradesh? Your options are Agra, Mathura, Sambal, Kanpur. What is the right answer to this question? So Kalki Dham Temple in Uttar Pradesh, uh, the foundation stone was laid down by Prime Minister. Uh, you will find this in which city? The right answer is, Sambhal is the right answer to this question. C is the right answer. So uh, the chairman of the trust is Achare Pramod Krishnan. Okay. So C is the right answer. Now, let's move on to the next one. The question number six, which says, which of the following women's badminton team won gold at Asia team championship titled at Setia City Convention Center in Shah Alam, Malaysia? Your options are Malaysia, Japan, China, India. Kisne gold jita hai women's badminton teams mein? This is important, SAR market. Anyone? The right answer is option D. Anna, India is the right answer and that is why it is important. I have told you Indian women's badminton team has won first ever Asia team championship at Setia City Convention Center in Shah Alam, Malaysia. So D is the right answer to this question. Take care. And please remember this girl's name, Anmol Harb. She is performing very well. Anna, and she has been in the news for uh, her exceptional performance. Take care. Uh, so uh, D is the right answer to this question. Uh, let's move on, Anna, to the next one. Uh, the next is question number seven. Which of the following non-participating product for children has been launched by state-owned Life Insurance Corporation of India? Amrit Bal, Jeevan Anand, Jeevan Saral, Jeevan Thara. For children, they have launched it. What is the right answer? I said, D and answer. Yes, Sonu Mandal, you were right. Please answer question number seven. Non-participating product for children launched by LIC. Uh, the right answer is A. Amrit Bal is the right answer to this question. Okay, A is the right answer. Now let's move on to the next one. And LIC launches Amrit Bal a traditional savings life insurance plan for children. Okay. So kaise yada ko? Bal ka matlab kya hota hai? Bal matlab hota child. Hai na in Hindi. Balak hai na. So in this way you can remember it. So A is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is question number eight. Who was the chief guest at 9th Raisina Dialogue? So Raisina Dialogue is organized by Observer Research Foundation plus Ministry of External Affairs or Foreign Affairs Ministry. So they both organize where actually a foreign delegate, a foreign ambassador or a diplomat or a head of a foreign country, head of the state is invited. Okay. So it generally happens in January every year. Okay. So this year, the chief guest was Vladimir Putin, Jacinda Ardern, Kira Post, Ms. Takis, uh, Kevin Rudd. What is the right answer? Anyone? The right answer is option C, Kira Post, Ms. Takis. He is the, actually the Prime Minister of Greece. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay. okay? Yes. And uh, yes, you can see. To headline, Raisina Dialogue. and all. So... January, February, generally, hota hai, so go and read about it. Uh, I have attached it here. Uh, what is Raisina Dialogue? It happened every year in New Delhi and all since 2016, organized by Observer Research Foundation and External Affairs Ministry. Anna. Okay, uh, the next one is which city this year hosted Raisina Dialogue? Abhi mein just bataya. New Delhi, Allahabad, Pune, Chandigarh. Where it happens? Ninth edition of Raisina Dialogue happened where? New Delhi, Allahabad, Pune, Chandigarh. What is the right answer? The right answer is New Delhi is the right answer to this question. Take care. So just have an idea. Okay, Anna. Okay. 
let's move on. Anna, so here actually, Anna, this area is called as Raisena Hill area. Anna, I hope you are aware. The next is question number 10. What is the theme of 2024 Raisena Dialogue? So recently the Raisena Dialogue happened. What was the theme this year? And these are the four options. Please tell me. I'm waiting for the answers. The right answer is option D. Chaturang, conflict, contest, cooperate, create. C4. So D is the right answer. This was the theme of Raisena Dialogue this year. Okay. So D is the right answer. Now, the next is question number 11. Who among the following team has won the second edition of UAE International League 2020? Sharjah Various, MI Emirates, Gulf Giants, Dubai Capital. What is the right answer to this question? UAE International League T20. Second edition of UAE International League T20. Uh, the right answer is... B, MI Emirates is the right answer to this question. And so B is the right answer. By defeating Dubai Capitals. So like we have IPL in India. So similar to that, there is ILT20, which is happening in United Arab Emirates. Okay, so they have their own T20 match and all club match. Yes, Sonu Mandal, you are right. B is the right answer to this question. And now, ILT to T20 final, MI Emirates clinch made in title beat Dubai Capitals by 45 runs. Uh, let's move on to the next question number 12. Who among the following players secures India's Paris Olympic quota in equestrian event? Jitendra Singh, Anush Agarwal, Hussain Khan, Fawad Mirza. What is the right answer to this question? Equestrian is uh, horse riding. Eh, na? It's a horse riding game. So who among the following player has secured India's uh, Paris Olympic quota in equestrian event? Right answer is B. Anush Agarwal is the right answer to this question. And a dressage way with equestrian and dressage all are actually same thing. Anna. So I hope you are aware 2024 or Summer Olympics is going to happen from July to August this year. Anna. And he, this person Anush Agarwal has actually secured uh, the Paris Olympic birth. So means this person actually will be uh, playing in this I mean, from India's side and all. Okay. Dressage way with horse riding and all. This is dressage or uh, equestrian also uh, let's move on yes um, sono mandal you are right option b anush was the right answer uh, to the next one okay before that guys download our app go to uh, cat mba section you will find the cma 2024 specialized course so you can go for this course take care and 21st march at 7 pm we'll be having a session cat 2024 barc the game changer with vikran sir and on 24th march at 11 a.m in the morning we'll be having a scholarship test if you qualify it, you will get up to 90% off on all our paid batches. And on 31st March at 11 a.m. in the morning, we will be having a free session. CAT 2024 Roadmap to 99 percentile. These all will happen on app. Okay. And this is a specialized, uh, the benefit of CMAT specialized course. 20 plus CMAT live lectures, 50 plus engaging videos, 5 CMAT mock tests, 10,000 plus topic wise practice questions, etc. would be provided. Uh, let's move on further. Uh, if you are watching our class, there is a in description box, there is a link. Niche jana one on one counseling session, session guy, link diya hua. Click on this link, you will get this Google form. Uh, everyone should fill this Google form. You will get to know more about our courses and all. Uh, our team will help you find out more about this. Uh, the next one is who make the following is the Prime Minister of Greece recently in the news. Your options are Alexis, Sipras, Catherine, Sakelerepoulou, Kerikas, uh, Mitsotakis, Dora, Bakionis. Uh, he's in news because he recently was made chief guest at Raisena Dialogue. Abhi maine thoda der pehle bataya 10 15 minutes back. So who is actually who among the following is the prime minister of Greece and the capital of Greece is Athens. You will find it in Europe. So the right answer is uh, option C Kyriakos Mitsotakis. C is the right answer to this question. Theek hai. Ana for the visit ke liye. So here is Greece, the capital is Athens, and he came to from Greece, he came to Delhi. Anna. Athens is Kirastani, it's a very old uh, city. Uh, I hope you are a very ancient city. Uh, the next is uh, the question number 14 the labor force participation of women in India has increased from 23% to 15.7%, 10.18%, 37%, 38.5%. What is the right answer? 
labor force participation rate of women has increased from 23% to how much in India? The right answer is option C, 37% is the right answer to this question. From 23% to 37%. C is the right answer to this question. Another go. So, 17, 18, 23% and 22, 23, 37%. Okay. Uh, the next is question number 15. How many million dollar US dollars have been contributed by India to the poverty and hunger alleviation fund aimed at elevating poverty and hunger? $1 million, $2 million, $3 million, $4 million. IBSA fund has been given in India. What is the right answer? The right answer is A. $1 million is the right answer to this question. And India, Brazil, South Africa. IBSA is India, Brazil, South Africa. It's a grouping. So, IBSA fund, mein India has given $1 million. Okay? And a $1 million to fund combating poverty and hunger. Uh, let's move on further to the next the question number 16. Who among the following has recently received France's highest civilian honor? Uh, actually, it's called Legion of Honor. Kehte, and Legion of Honor France uh, award from France. Okay? So, Legion of Honor. Like we have uh, Bharat Ratan, very similar to that. France has Legion of Honor award. Uh, it is highest civilian award of France. It has been recently given to Karina Kapoor, A.R. Khan, A.R. Rahman, Javed Akhtar, Shashi Tharoor. What is the right answer? The right answer is option D. Shashi Tharoor is the right answer to this question. Okay. So you should be knowing it. D is the right answer. Yes, D is the right answer. Uh, Confort France, highest civil and honor. Uh, the next is question number 17. Which country hosted a seminar on Indian defense equipment side 2024? Your options are Nepal, China, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. What is the right answer? Yes, Sonu Mandal, right. D, is, D was the right answer. Yes, Dunk, you were also right. General BD answer, Kiyada, you are the right answer. Huh? Uh, the next is question number 17. Which country hosted seminar on Indian Defense Equipment Site 2024? So the right answer is Bangladesh. So actually High Commission of India in Bangladesh hosted it. High Commission was the embassy. So when it comes to actually embassy uh, of Commonwealth of Nations, so instead of uh, embassy, we use the word High Commission. And Dhaka. So D is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is question number 18. In which of the following cities World Defense Show 2024 was inaugurated in February 2024? Your options are Dubai, Riyadh, Bangalore, Moscow. What is the right answer to this question? The right answer is B. Uh, Riyadh is the right answer to this question. World Defense Show, Saudi Arab. Anna. Saudi Arab's capital is Riyadh. Anna. So, uh, B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, the next is, which country has become the 119th member to join International Solar Alliance? Malta, USA, Canada, Mexico. I hope you are aware International Solar Alliance is headquartered in Gurugram. This is a very famous question. Anna. Uh, the Director General is Mr. Ajay Mathur. An International Solar Alliance is a grouping of countries where actually they come together to tap the solar energy potential. That is the main idea behind it. And recently, yes, the right answer is option A. Malta has joined it. And Malta is actually a country you will find it in Mediterranean Sea. Okay? So here is India. This uh, water body is called as Mediterranean Sea. And inside Mediterranean Sea, here you will find Malta. Okay. So the right answer is A is the right answer to this question. Yes. And so International Solar Alliance uh, founded in Paris, France in 2015, but headquarter is in Gurugram, Haryana. Okay. Director General is Mr. Rajay Mathur. Uh, let's move on further to the next the question number 20, which says noted film director Sandeep Reddy Vanga won Best Director Award at Dada Sai Falke International Film Festival Award. For which film? Pathan, Ghadar 2, Animal, The Kerala Story. What is the right answer to this question?
Yes, the right answer is option C. So Sandeep Wanga Reddy, Sandeep uh, Reddy Wanga has uh, made a film called as Animal for which he has been given Best Director Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award 2024. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Okay, uh, the next is who has been conferred with Best Actress Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award 2024. Alia Bhatt, Nayan Thara, Deepika Padukone, Sara Ali Khan. What is the right answer? Best Actress Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award 2024. What is the right answer? The right answer is option B, Nayan Thara. Yes, Nayan Thara, uh, Best Actress Award, okay, uh, for her film in Japan. So B is the right answer to this question. For her, for her acting in Japan, Japan. So B is the right answer. Okay. Yes. Ah, Sonu Mandal, you were right. It's a belly answer. Animal tha. Is answer Nayan Thara. Yes. Uh, the next is who has won Best Actor Award at DPIFF, Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Award 2024. Ranveer Singh, Akshay Kumar, Shah Rukh Khan, Ritik Roshan. What is the right answer to this question? The right answer is option C. Shah Rukh Khan is the right answer to this question. Shah Rukh Khan in Best Actor category and Best Actress category with Nayan Thara. And both has actually acted in the film Jawan for which they have got the award. Okay. So the right answer is C is the right answer. Right? Let's read it a little bit. Right? Uh, the next is, this is important. Amin Sayani, who passed away at the age of 19 and recently was a legendary pop composer, radio announcer, scientist, rock dancer. What is the right answer to this question? Amin Sayani. Anyone? This is important. I think he died at in 90s. He was, he was in 90s. Radio announcer. So B is the right answer. And there was a time when he was very famous uh, for his uh, statement, Behno or Bhayu. And he died at the age of 91. Okay. 54,000 radio programs and uh, no, these things you should be knowing it. Okay. Uh, no. So the right answer is B. Uh, the next is the question number 24. Government has permitted 100% FDI foreign direct investment in which sector to attract foreign investment? FDI, matlab, recently, I mean, we are talking about in the month of February. Foreign direct investment. In which field? Uh, so recently the government has decided to do it in a space sector. Now space sector, now the government is opening up the private companies also. 100% FDI is to be allowed in space sector now. Uh, I hope you are aware earlier it was 74%. Now it has increased it to 100%. Uh, I hope the government has made something called as in space also. Anna. NSIL, these are the orga ISRO's organization, commercial wing and all, which promotes private sector participation in a space sector and all. Okay. So that is what you should be knowing it. B is the right answer. Uh, the next is question number 25. According to Union Home Ministry, Center decides to continue women's safety scheme till 2022-23, Women's safety scheme has been extended till, just remember it, 2025-26. So women's help desk, anti-human trafficking units, and etc and all safety for women kill there are a lot of schemes okay uh, the next is uh, who will launch uh, indus app store to compete with tech giant google and apple just like google ka we are having something called as play store right so from play store you download app and then jitna bhi app hota play store se download karte ho similarly apple ka ios hota hai they also have their own uh, actually app store from where you can download the uh, app hai na so similar to that, another company is launching Indus App Store and that is actually Phone Pay. So A is the right answer to this question. And so Walmart's Phone Pay is launching Indus App Store. So A is the right answer to this question. Takes on Google with the launch of Indus App Store. So just have an idea about that. Uh, the next is question number 27. India and Greece set a bilateral trade target of how much by the year 2030? Uh, recently, the Greece Prime Minister was in India 
and they have decided that by 2030 they will actually double the trade you know? so earlier actually you know, to double their bilateral trade so uh, currently the bilateral trade is around 2 billion dollar between india and greece and they have decided to double it so the right answer is c is the right answer to this question okay you know? Uh, the next is question number 28. Which of the following state governments has started LACME bus service? Uh, Punjab, Kerala, Arunachal Pradesh, Odisha. What is the right answer? The right answer is D. Odisha is the right answer to this question. Odisha CM Naveen Patnaik launched this. Okay. The right answer is D. Okay, uh, the next is question number 29. Recently, Reserve Bank of India has approved appointment of Ashish Vijaykar as MD and CEO of which bank? HDFC Bank, Punjab National Bank, SBM Bank of India, Union Bank of India. Vijay, uh, Ashish Vijaykar as MD and CEO of which bank? So the right answer is option C, SBM Bank India is the right answer to this question. Okay. And SBM Bank India points Ashish Vijaykar as MD and CEO. Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number 30. Kapila Vastu relic recently mentioned in the news is associated with which one of the following? Baba Ramdev, Goswami, Tulsidas, Mahavir, Lord Buddha. So Kapila Vastu, you will find it in East Uttar Pradesh. This is the place where actually Gautam Buddha died. Or you can say he attained Mahapari Nirvan at this place. So the right answer is D. It is associated with the life of Gautam Buddha. So four bone fragments of Lord Buddha has been found and all. Uh, no. This will be taken to Thailand after 30 years and all. So, so in the East UP, this is the state of Uttar Pradesh. And here somewhere you will find Kapila Vastu. Okay, Anna. Uh, yes, 22nd February. Ko. It will be taken in 2024. Uh, you can see. Uh, the next is question number 31. Uh, which state has become the first northeastern state in India to achieve 100% saturation of Har Ghar Jal under Jal Jeevan Mission? Assam, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim. What is the right answer to this question? First Northeast state in India to, to achieve 100% saturation of Har Ghar Jal under Jal Jeevan Mission. The right answer is option C. Arunachal Pradesh is the right answer to this question. Okay. And the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh is Mr. Pema Khandu. So C is the right answer. Yes, Sono Mandar, you are right, huh? Arunachal is first northeastern state to achieve 100% Har Ghar Jal scheme. So I just have an idea. Uh, the next one is, which of the following city will host International Gita Mahotsav 2024? Mumbai, New Delhi, Colombo, Jakarta. What is the right answer? International Gita Mozart, so Colombo, which is actually in Sri Lanka. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay. And, uh, from 1st of March. Go. So the next one is artist and founder of Delhi Street Art passed away recently. What was his name? And uh, what is the name of the artist? Yogesh Saini, Ariz Khambata, Jaswant Singh Kawal, Ved Prakash Mehta. Artist and founder of Delhi Street Art passed away recently. What is the name of the artist? Anyone, if you know the answer, please answer it. The right answer is Yogesh Saini. So A is the right answer. Take care. Passed away at the age of 64, qualified engineer and degree in MBA. Uh, so used to live in US before returning to India in 2013, establishing his street art group. So you can see. Uh, no. Uh, the next one as former Chief Minister Manohar Joshi passed away. He was the Chief Minister of which state? Uttarakhand, Maharashtra, Sikkim, Rajasthan. What is the right answer to this question? 
This is important. He has earlier served as a speaker of Lok Sabha as well. So what is the right answer? The right answer is he was earlier the chief minister of Maharashtra as well. So B is the right answer. Anna. And he suffered a heart attack and because of which he died. Um, Anna, he was one of the leader from Shiv Sena and all. Okay. Lok Sabha speaker from 2002 to 2004. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Anna. Uh, the next one, Hana. Uh, yes, you can see Hana. The next is question number 35. Which country hosted third meeting of ASEAN India trade in goods agreement? Indonesia, India, Myanmar, Malaysia. What is the right answer to this question? ASEAN, I hope you are aware, Association for Southeast Asian Nation, Hana. It is a grouping of Southeast Asian countries, uh, 11 member grouping. Anna. So ASEAN India Trade in Goods Agreement. Which country has hosted the third meeting? So the right answer is uh, B. India is the right answer to this question. Okay, so B is the right answer. Take it. So this actually is ASEAN grouping. Um, earlier it has 10 countries. Now recently East Timor has also been added. Anna. So now ASEAN has actually 11 members. Okay, so India is having trade uh, of some agreement with ASEAN countries and all. Okay. So download our app, uh, go to uh, CAT section, MBA section and CAT college predictor based on profile. So uh, you can go and uh, see the college predictor as well. And, uh, so please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's exam prep app. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.